through the model. A free electron, for example an electron in a metal, with mass m sub e and charge q is equal to minus e, the mass of the rest mass of the electron is 9.11 10 to minus 31 kilograms charge is minus 1.6 10 to minus 19 coulombs is subject to electric field e so we are putting a charged particle inside an electric field e therefore it's going to feel a force the force the electron feels is basically the charge of the electron q multiplied with the electric field E. Now if this is the only force it feels, this will be equal to the mass of the electron times the acceleration of the electron according to Newton's second law for an inertial reference frame. And this acceleration is now equal to Q electric field E divided by mass of the electron and sub e so this is the force it will feel between collisions but if you consider an electron inside a metal remember that these electrons basically go through these uh, collisions on their path uh, with the immobile ions uh, and they create atomic vibrations so what happens in between collisions is if we have the velocity v initial right after a collusion uh, and the final velocity right before the next collusion in between the collusions the electron is free to move under the uh, action of this electric field so it's going to feel an acceleration it's going to have an acceleration a uh, the final velocity will be v initial plus a t now if i take the time average of this uh, final velocity v final average this is the initial velocity average value time average plus acceleration a times tau uh, where tau is the mean free time between collisions the average time the electron spans between collisions now what is the average value of the velocity right after a collusion right after a collusion the electron can emerge in any direction uh, so we have the on average zero velocity so the time average of this uh, velocity of the electron right after a collusion is zero now what we call the drift velocity is the average value of this final velocity right before the next collusion and it is equal to uh, acceleration times tau acceleration is uh, q electric field e divided by mass of the electron and multiplied with tau so we have found that this is the drift velocity or drift speed it's max uh, basically magnitude is acceleration times tau which is qe tau over m now what is the current density it is the charge q charge carrier density n multiplied with the drift speed so this is going to be equal to n uh, for drift we have another q here so it's going to be n q square tau divided by mass of the electron multiplied by the electric field e so i'm substituting for the drift velocity q e over m tau uh, so q e over m tau multiplied by n q gives me the current density now sigma is the electrical conductivity and according to ohm's law j is equal to sigma times electric field so we see that sigma the electrical conductivity can be written in terms of uh, these parameters as n e square tau divided by mass of the electron so it's the charge carrier density charge squared the mean free time between collisions 
divided by mass of the electron. Now, if we write this in terms of resistivity, remember resistivity is 1 over the electrical conductivity sigma. It would be mass of the electron on top, mass of the electron divided by n e squared tau. So this model basically uh, gives us a way of expressing the uh, electrical conductivity uh, or electrical resistivity in terms of the uh, mean free time, mass of the electron, charge carrier density and charge of the electron. Now the current is the current density multiplied by the area I is equal to J times A which is equal to electrical conductivity times electric field J is equal to sigma E ohm's law multiplied by the area and this is electrical conductivity the electric field is the potential difference between the two ends divided by the length uh, because electric field is minus gradient of the potential multiplied with the area A so we have sigma A over L times V so we see that the potential difference V between the two ends of this conductor will be 1 over uh, sigma electrical conductivity L over A times I as we have seen before which is equal to resistance times the current and resistance is rho L over A so this we have seen before now what about the power power is the uh, rate of change of energy du dt uh, electrical potential energy electrical potential energy is uh, the charge multiplied by the potential difference so it is d dt times q delta v so we have dq dt since the potential difference is a constant dq dt times delta v therefore we see that power is equal to the current that flows through the conductor multiplied by the potential difference delta v now since delta v is equal to ir we can substitute that here and find the power is equal to i square r or uh, we can substitute i is equal to delta v over r so we have then delta v square over r so there are two ways we can express the power in terms of current and in terms of voltage and we can do that since delta v is equal to ir is ohm's law so where does this power go this energy is lost as joule heating of the resistor remember that we have collisions with with the atoms and uh, basically atomic vibrations will increase and we will have heating of the uh, resistor in this case so we talked about a simple model the root model which is a crude model that explains the microscopic origin of electrical conductivity if we consider a free electron mass m e charge minus e which is subject to an electric field e the electron will feel the force q times the electric field in between collisions which is equal to mass of mass of the electron times its acceleration acceleration is q e over m in between collisions we have the initial velocity right after a collision plus acceleration times t is equal to the final velocity right before the next collision if we take the time average since the electron can emerge from a collision in any direction in a random direction the average time average value of v initial is zero so time average value of v final the, the uh, velocity it has right before the next collision is a times tau which is basically drift velocity average speed of the electron we can consider this qe over m times uh, tau 
so q e over m is acceleration j is equal to q and v d as we have seen before and so for v d we can substitute q e over m tau we obtain electrical conductivity and e squared tau over m so j is equal to sigma times e ohm's law and resistivity is 1 over sigma which is mass divided by an e squared tau uh, so and we also have ohm's law written in this form delta v is equal to ir uh, where r is the resistance and it's rho l over a uh, resistivity times length divided by the area where resistivity is 1 over the electrical conductivity now the power uh, that is uh, delivered to the circuit is du dt rate of change of pot electrical potential energy it's d dt of q delta v since we're keeping this at a constant potential difference delta v dq dt which is current multiplied by the potential difference delta v gives us the power and since delta v is equal to ir this is i square r or i is delta v over r so we can substitute delta v over r here delta v square over r is the power this is the energy lost per second as joule heating of the resistor